everybody and welcome to another amazing video of DIY investing. I have a special breakdown covering one of my favorite altcoins that I think is going to be providing some of the biggest gains over this cycle. We're going to be starting off by jumping into some Bitcoin analysis and then we're going to be taking a look at one of these fractals that I have drawn with a chart of XRP that I think is about to be exploding very soon. Right off the bat guys, if you find value in this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see how I'm investing in my portfolio long term, links are in the description to go ahead and sign up on my website. Now guys, right off the bat, as we're getting into Bitcoin, today is a great opportunity to remind you guys of some of the analysis I've been drawing when it comes to Bitcoin because the way I'm looking at Bitcoin has a lot to do with the same consolidation we made in the last cycle because if you remember this is the prior all-time high at 20k when we started breaking out it was this move right here where we retested that prior high retested it here got this big 20% pullback rallied back up once again, and then got another pullback to the mid-range before we finally started breaking out. And when I'm looking at the price action today of Bitcoin, it just reminds me so much of the same consolidation, which is my main reason for really wanting to share it with you guys. Because if this is what is to be expected moving forward with Bitcoin, I think it's important because this shows that a lot of altcoin profit is about to be entering the market. This is the exact sort of you know fractal I'm drawing, where we're seeing the same similarities in price. Not much is really that different. We saw the top, we saw the 20% pullback, we saw price rebound, and we're kind of still just consolidating inside of that same consolidation triangle. So when I've seen the market doing this, it gives me a lot of confidence that most likely this is going to end up breaking bullish. Once we get fun, uh, finished with this short-term consolidation, I do think that we're about to be starting a new all-time high. When we take the time to zoom out and look at Bitcoin, I'm not saying that it's got to go straight to 170k because I don't even think that myself. But you know, assuming we could run up to 100k before we see another correction, I think that that's definitely doable. The big point I'm trying to make here is as we're getting closer to these all-time highs, even though we're seeing these pullbacks at this prior high level, it's not that different from what we've seen in years past you know we could even go back to 2016 and 2017 where once we started to hit these all-time highs that was the moment we started to see you know a little bit of selling taking place we saw this pullback here about 30 percent then we saw this pullback here about another 20 30 percent so it's historically speaking when we've seen the market rally back up to prior all-time highs you know these pullbacks have happened and it shouldn't be you know unexpected by any means the last cycle they were just short-lived before that breakout. And in this cycle, we don't fully know what's gonna take place. At my guess, I kind of assume that we're gonna break bullish and we're gonna be starting that next leg up. And my target's 100K. That's where I think that we're gonna be heading in the short term before we see any sort of major correction. But regardless, I still think that this thing's gonna keep trending up, right? Higher highs and higher lows, any correction will be an opportunity to get in. But as we're consolidating right at these prior highs, as we're seeing these pullbacks, I can't help but assume that this is going to end up breaking bullish and we're about to be entering price discovery. So when that happens, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a fractal, talking about XRP because it's been a while since I've talked about this. But what I'm noticing inside of the XRP chart is that it's following almost the exact same accumulation pattern that Bitcoin did in its last cycle. Going all the way back to the cycle top of 2017, we spent all of this time consolidating inside of this triangle formation, right? We had the range high, we had the range low, and we just kind of kept consolidating tighter and tighter inside of this triangle until finally, it was once we broke out over here, we rallied up to about 12 and a half thousand. We retested that level as new support, and that was where we ended up seeing that reversal. And it was you know, something I was watching for in that last cycle, waiting when the triangle was gonna break. The second it broke, I went super heavy into leverage positions. I went heavy into the rest of my positions that I was kind of waiting on. And it was a smart move because Oftentimes what we see with triangles, once they break, once that we've uh, confirmed the reversal, oftentimes they kind of just break out really quickly. They don't usually take a lot of time to consolidate because all of the consolidation took place throughout this big triangle. So when I'm zooming out and I'm looking at XRP, knowing that it's done the exact same sort of setup where we've just got this big sort of triangle accumulation, I do believe that we're at the last moment of time before we're going to get that breakout. Seeing the market coiling tighter and tighter and tighter, the truth of the matter is this, guys. When we look at XRP, XRP has been uptrending for like two years straight, right? This is a pretty uh, steep parabolic move. Now, even though this is only a year, the fact that we've held this for you know a year, let's actually get in a specific date. From the exact low to where we're at today, 670 days. So we're almost two years that XRP has held maintained support and it's been uptrending on this new trend. XRP has maintained higher highs and higher lows, uptrended at a diagonal slope for you know the last two years approximately. So seeing this happen, I have a lot of confidence that we're about to be seeing a breakout and we're kind of just hugging that final 
resistance right here before that takes place. When you have such a long-term accumulation, once the breakout happens, once we get this move outside of resistance, I'm kind of thinking that we're going to run up to about $1.40, which would basically be like this lower high right up here. I think that we'll run up, I think that we'll run up to that level, we'll pull back, kind of cement whether this is truly support, whether we've truly uh, reversed this trend or not. And then from there, we're going to get that big breakout. And when I draw the chart like this, I honestly believe that this is what's going to happen because XRP is spending all of this time coiling in this triangle. This is uh, where it's building the momentum, right? It's building all of the momentum that it needs to where once the market finally breaks out of this downtrend, keep in mind that we've been in this downtrend since you know, over to, like 2,300 days approximately. So we got to keep in mind that Bitcoin in its last cycle, it did not even have the same amount of time in its consolidation, right? The altcoin markets like XRP are at twice the amount of time because Bitcoin went to a new all-time high, whereas XRP made a lower high right here. The lawsuit happened and all XRP has been doing is accumulating here. Now, one of the charts I'm excited to share with you guys, because I think it's going to blow your minds is when we come over here, this is a chart I made yesterday. And we're going to compare it to XRP, which I'm just going to go through and explain it. Basically, we see the same rule of events. We see the cycle top, cycle top, and then we follow the same pattern. We get this little W, lower high before we drop. Same thing happens here. And then we make another one, a little smaller one. And then this leads us to capitulation, the final low, final low here. And throughout that, we have our downtrending resistance, right? And we can see that each and every one of these cycles. Now, what I find interesting is at the bottom of capitulation, we make the same sort of breakout and the same thing happened in both of these cycles. So not only does the bear market look the same, but the breakout of the bear market looks the same. And then we even followed the same consolidation after leading into this first little breakout, flipping those prior highs as new support. We'll make this green. And then, you know, ultimately we've done the same thing over here. We rallied up, broke it out of those uh, prior all time highs, retested them. The prior highs is new support. And I think that we're at this final moment before we have another 2017 type of rally. That's what we're going to experience inside of this next cycle. So theoretically, if the altcoin total market cap is showing the same similarities, if we come over and look at the XRP on the dollar and look at it from that long-term basis, theoretically, we should see the same parallels, right? I mean, assuming that XRP is going to keep, you know, making these big moves. And what I find super interesting is we have actually seen pretty much the exact same sort of setup all the way through between these triangle type patterns, right? Where XRP hasn't really changed anything, right? So when we see this, we're seeing pretty much the same pattern being repeated. Not only was our very first cycle for XRP pretty much the same, but our second cycle is pretty much the same. The only difference here is the amount of time from cycle, well, let's just go from cycle high to the breakout. This was like 11, 1200 days. From cycle high to where we're at today, you're looking at 2,300 days. So we're over a thousand days longer in this accumulation versus this last one. And I oftentimes am reminded of this universal principle. I don't know who made it up or what book it's written, but the longer the accumulation, the greater the expansion. So my thought is, you know, XRP back in these days wasn't worth very much. It didn't take very much money to send XRP's price up thousands of X's. However, in this cycle, XRP is worth tens of billions of dollars, right? So to get it to have another new all-time high in the same ways that it's done in prior cycles, I'm a believer that we pretty much just have to take more time worth of an accumulation to get that same type of a move. More along the lines of this, this is kind of what I think is gonna play out for XRP over this cycle. My target's been $28 since the last cycle, nothing's changed. I've still stuck to the same thing. I'm still holding XRP, although I have sold my spot XRP, and instead of me holding spot, I wanted to go into other altcoins that hadn't had prior cycles. It's not that I don't believe in XRP, but when I sold my spot, I ended up taking the exact same amount of XRP in a position, and then opening it into a leverage position. So I'm still exposed to XRP. It's just that I'm not holding spot anymore because I felt like I was better off diversifying into lower cap stuff. But you know, I didn't want to actually sell my XRP. So I opened a leverage position with the exact same size as my spot bag. So I still firmly believe in XRP. Nothing has changed at all. I just think that we're kind of at this final moment before we get this big breakout because historically where we're at is right here. We finished this lower high. We corrected all the way back down to trending support. And now all we're doing is just kind of consolidating sideways here, right? Once we get this final breakout, we get the breakout, we get the retest. That's where we're going to see this big move come into the market. And so 
you know, it's it's encouraging to me because I see the exact same fractal playing out. The only difference is it's taken twice as much time to accumulate this cycle versus the first one, which tells me that there's still plenty of money into this market. I don't think that XRP is dead. Now that they've beaten the SEC, it's pretty much confirmed what I already believed from the very beginning of that lawsuit. So now that we're at this final moment, I really believe this is kind of the last little stage before we get this breakout, before we flip this resistance, and before we go into new all-time highs. My target's 28 bucks. I am long and strong. Very very much believer in XRP. Nothing's changed. The only difference is instead of holding spot, I'm just, you know, leveraged with like, I don't know. It's not that big of a position. I'm leveraged like 250,000 XRP, I believe is what it is. I don't know what the dollar value of that is, but it was the exact same size as my spot holdings because I wanted to hold this. I still firmly believe that this thing is going to boom in a huge way. You know, nothing's changed. They've only added more value. And I think that we're kind of at that last moment of time before we're going to get that new all-time high. So I wanted to break things down, explain what the charts are showing, explain what Bitcoin's doing, give you guys my you know thoughts on why I think that this alt season is going to be the biggest one of all time. We're seeing multiple charts lining up. Not only is the altcoin total market cap lining up with the exact same sort of uh, fractals as its first cycle, but we're also seeing XRP doing the exact same thing. So when I see all of these lining up, it gives me confidence. I know you guys are about to make a killing. So I wanted to bring you guys this update, simplify some things, make sure you guys are in the profit. If you guys found value, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. If you guys do want to see how I'm investing, where I'm buying, selling, trading, any altcoins I'm leveraged trading, NFTs, anything I do with my money, I post all of it in my private Discord server, linked below. If you guys do want access to that, go ahead and check it out. Lifetime access, lots of money to be made in this cycle, and I can't wait to have you guys a part of that. So thank you guys for watching. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. As always, peace out.